I'm so excited about being able to cook in Bien Canton Bucerias because the kitchen, dining, and living area open up out to the beautiful garden and sand-covered patio overlooking the beach. Who doesn't love chilaquiles? In today's version, instead of the normal green or red salsa, it is salsa de linda. The first thing we're going to make is the salsa, the most important part of the chilaquiles. The first step of making the salsa is roasting the tomatillos until they're charred. I like to start roasting these face down because they will all toast more evenly and they will jump around. While the tomatillos are roasting, let me tell you a little bit about Vien Canto. It's an exceptional estate, perfect for corporate or family retreats, incredible entertaining space with plenty of room for large events. Once they're done and roasty and pretty and black, you want to put them in a pan. These are the chili moritas. They look a little bit like dates. They're going to be jumping around the comal also. But heat them up a little bit so they puff a little more and not more than 30 seconds. Once the moritas are done and puffed up, you want to put them in a bowl of warm, if not boiling water, so they hydrate a little bit. You want to take them out of the bowl and chop them up a little bit and include the seeds because that's one of the most important parts of the flavor. The flavor is smoky, strong, but not remotely hot. It just adds this insane flavor that blends well with the tomatillos, the garlic, and the salt. I drop the clove of garlic into the blender and here come the tomatillos that have been freshly roasted and have lots of juice coming out of them for some sauce. Next, I'm going to put in the chile morita, including the sauce and the seeds that all add such important flavor to the sauce. And as always, a sprinkle of salt. We're good. You take the lid off, you're going to see how thick it is, but this is not quite the consistency you're going to want for the salsa. For the, for the chilaquiles, it needs to have a little water. So do not be afraid to add a little bit of water. This is not a dip, it is a sauce to go over eggs and tortillas. So let me add a little water there. The reason we make the salsa first is you want the flavors to blend together and they will just roll over everything you've covered them with so beautifully. And for the topping of the chilaquiles, we're going to put a flank steak, just seasoned with salt and pepper, real easy, on a grill pan, and let that baby cook until your heart's desire. The property boasts five in-suite master bedrooms and also a lovely two-bedroom, two-bath guest house. Lush gardens, ample terraces, a fantastic junior Olympic-sized pool, and direct beach access. Chilaquiles with Arachera would not be complete without a couple fried eggs on top. And to assemble chilaquiles de la linda, just get a bag and my preferred roasted, not fried chips, pour the salsa. Layer it with this wonderful flank steak, a couple of fried eggs, then you top it with chopped onions, some queso fresco, which I know they have in the United States, and some crema. A la mexicana, or if you guys like sour cream, bring it on. And here you have it, chilaquiles, perfect for a brunch or breakfast or any time of the day you want. Enjoy. If you're looking for a Mexican estate with true ambiance, charm, and design, Viencanto is for you.